Hey, first of all, I'm from Houston. Picky bitch, I'm choosy. Feel like it, I'ma do it. Uh, new, new with the new shit. Uh, I do what the fuck I want, when the fuck I want. Uh, bitch, don't like me all you want. Run up what you want. Uh. Houston, we have a problem. Hey guys, what's up beautiful people? What's up YouTube? It's your girl Maggie Mag, aka Mary Rose, and I'm back with another beautiful video. So, today, 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 as y'all can tell by the title, today I'm going to be giving y'all the first story time on this channel. Yeah, so I went on Instagram and I asked y'all what video did y'all want to see next, and y'all said a story time, and, and then I asked which story time? Worst relationship? <laughs> our first girl fight so a majority of y'all chose the first girl fight and that's what i'm going to be telling you guys today yeah but before we get into this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel hit that post notification bell ding and make sure you comment down hashtag main mafia so that you get you a shout out and today's shout out speaking of which goes to Fatima Lee, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for showing your support. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And to everybody else that also show support, subscribe to my channel, share my content. I love you, I love you, I love you. And yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. The reason why I had to specify first girl fight is because I only have one girl fight. Other than a girl fight, I've had two boy fights. Like, I had two physical fights with a boy. So, yeah. Yeah. This is my first and last female fight. So, yeah. Anyways, so time and place this took. It was 8th grade, 2018. Yep. And it was with a female. So, this is how it went. I'm going to call her Oil, just for the time being. And I'm going to call the boy Pencil. So, all right, so me and my friends, you know, we're, we're, we were at a school called, no, I'm not even gonna say the school, that's that's heavy, that's heavy. So I was at this middle school and right next door to the middle school was always this um, park called 22. So at 22 Park, we met a lot of friends there. So my friends from my school always went to that park and we made some friends there. So we made a good group of friends and whatever. And one of the people that was in that group of friends was Pencil. So, Pencil was the type of boy, he's handsome, I'm not gonna lie. He's a handsome, dark-skinned young man, but he's short. So, you know, that kind of definitely threw it off for me. But anyways, he's a cute, handsome young man or whatever. But, you know, I was peeping his movements or whatever. So basically, this boy, I feel like he knew he was cute. So, when people know they're cute, it's a problem. All right, so anywho, Pencil was, um, you know, got along with my friends or whatever, but, he started making his move on my female friends and he didn't just stick to one female friend he went from one friend to the next friend to the next friend and that's what i was peeping so i'm like you know what i'm i'm just watch that i'm just watching his movement you feel me so at this time i am in a relationship but like we're falling off so yeah we were falling off so it was whatever i guess it's not like I was cheating or nothing like that, but we, you know, we was falling off. Our relationship was falling off. We wasn't talking, but we were still together. He was mad at me, but we were still falling off. So yeah, whatever. Anywho, um, yeah, pencil moved on from girl to girl, and I peeped that. So after he was done trying to talk to my other two friends, which I guess they didn't want to talk to him, so they dubbed him. He tried to make his move on me. This how that went. So every day before school or after school, me and my friends gather together at 22 Park, so, you know, to socialize and whatever, to, you know, hang out before we either go to the school building or we leave to go home. So this day, it, it was after school. This day was after school. So after school, we went to the park, you know, the boys were playing basketball, the girls were chilling, we were all having a good time, whatever. And so this is how the park is set up. We got the swing sets, we got the slides, everything over there on that side. Then in the middle is like the, the bathroom. The middle of the whole park is the bathroom. And then on this side of the, the park is the the hoops, the basketball court basically. But the hoops is not like regular back to back. You know how they have one basket here, one basket here. That's not how it is. It's one basket here, one basket here. Like exactly how my hands are facing, they face out. They're not facing each other. So yeah, that's how it's set up. The girls was chilling at the swings. We left there, we came to watch the boys play ball. And so they was playing. And so as they're playing, 
pencil is over here showing off and whatever and trying to be cute making shots for the females and whatever so i'm like mm, look at him showing out so yeah turns out the whole time he was showing out for more me mademoiselle me that's who he was showing out for and i wasn't suspecting that because like ew I, like I said, I was peeping his movement, so like, you know, and I don't like people that move like that, you know, you feel me? So, how you, you going from one friend to the next friend to the front, next friend, like, that's homie hopping, you feel me? So, I'm not, I'm not here for that. And plus, like I said, I was in a fallen, fallen relationship. And so was pr um, Pencil. So, Pencil also, I forgot to mention, he was in a relationship at this time as well with oil. So, yeah, boom. This is where it all happens. So he's in a relationship, on and off relationship with, with oil. And so I'm just peeping all of this because I'm on Facebook. And then at this time I was on Facebook and I see that him and oil was in a relationship, but then wasn't he just trying to talk to two of my friends? Like, so I'm guessing I, they was off at the moment, like they wasn't together, but then they post each other on Facebook and stuff like that. So I'm just like, so confused. So that's everything that I was peeping. So, after he finished trying to talk to um, my friends, he came to talk to me the day we went to the park to chill after school. So, we went after school to chill and whatever. So, after he did the old last showing off on the court, he came to me trying to have a conversation with me. So, we had a little conversation or whatever. And then out of nowhere, he tried to make his move on me. This boy was trying to make his move on me, trying to kiss me. So, I'm over here backing up. So, I'm already, we're already behind the basket where the boys are already playing, the basket that the boys are playing at. I'm already behind it. So, he came to me to talk to me. And then, this is the gate. The gate is right here. And, like, there's nothing past the gate. You can't go, go past the gate unless you, like, walk out this way or walk out that way. And go back around. So, the gate behind me. Anyways, he walked up to me and then I'm the one up against the gate. So, he's talking to me and then now he's leaning in for a kiss. And I'm just backing up like this. And now at this point, I can't go nowhere because the gate is still right there. I can't move the gate. So he's all up on me with his hands. Like, you know how they grab the gate and try to keep you in one place? So then I'm over here trying to dodge it, whatever. So I'm leaning back. I'm at the end of the gate. And then so I have nowhere else to go. And I don't want this kid to kiss me at all. I don't want to kiss me. I don't want him to. So at this point, I'm just leaning to the side, leaning to the side, bending over backwards for this kid to not kiss me, to not kiss me i repeat to not kiss me so yeah so at this point he's yeah i'm bending over backwards and i'm still trying to dodge this kiss because i really do not want it so then he eventually gets off me and yeah and i'm now i'm just like i want to go home I'm, I'm telling the girls like i want to go home so after that we all go home or whatever and i i think that same night or a couple nights later he texted me saying, oh, why you didn't kiss me? You should have kissed me. Um, I wanted to feel those soft lips and da da da, da. Like, he said that. Those were his, his exact words. Sadly, I don't have those screenshots. But at this time, I was dumb. I didn't have my receipts like that. So, you feel me? I wasn't, you know. And I had my receipts at that time. So, yeah. And then, a couple of days later, I heard about his girl, Oil. How she jumped somebody right and that somebody was one of my friends cousin I believe or friend of some sort I'm pretty sure it was cousin so she gets she jumps one of my friends cousin and I hear about it and we're all talking about it so after I hear about it I'm like that's not cute if shorty was to get jumped she wouldn't feel the same she wouldn't be happy with it like you feel me so I'm guessing he's there listening to me and I'm saying I, these are, this was a slip of tongue and I'm saying so if me and my friend was to jump her how would she feel da, 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 da. like I was seeing that but obviously I shouldn't have said that because somebody was gonna run back and go run their mouth so yeah turns out it was him so he goes to his girl and whatever and tells her that but yeah he tells her that and whatever and then she finds me on facebook so she finds me and messages me on messenger she texts me on messenger so i have the receipts now for you guys and i'm gonna block the name though because i don't want you know shorty's information out there 
because this is old beef so yeah okay so I'm gonna put it here for y'all and y'all gonna read it with me so okay here it is it said she texted me like yo and I was like yeah so she was like so you told that if he if he fuck with me then you're gonna stop fucking with him etc and you want to fight me i was like yes and no because obviously i did not say i wanted to fight her i was hypothetically saying if she was to get jumped how would she feel that's what i said right so anyways she's like um so oh yeah i replied yes and no i said what i but uh, I said, what would he do if you, we were to jump you just to see if he still has some sort of feeling for you? But nobody is jumping you. If have a one-on-one, -on -one, that's that she will, and that's all. We just didn't want to fuck with him if he fuck with you because, you know, our friend come first. She was like, don't put her in this. And me and her are settled or whatever back to you. I said, okay, don't worry about me because I said what I said and that's point blank period. And I didn't want, I didn't know y'all settled it. I wasn't throwing her in this to cover me up. I just said, we have her back and that's all, right? She was like, oh, okay. The question is, do you have a problem with me? And I was like, nope, but what you did was wrong. And I said, now, do you have a problem with me? She was like, I don't know you, so I don't have a problem with you. Just keep my name out of your mouth. By the way, me and Prince, Oh, me and him still together, but not together. So, pre the bios. We gonna cut it right there real quick. We gonna cut it right there real quick because Shorty looks stupid. Yeah, y'all in the bios and whatever. That's corny stuff. That's corny little kid stuff. But like, are y'all really together? You know, actions speak louder than words. So whatever is written out there is now being portrayed by y'all. So, what you talking about? What are you talking about, sweetie? What are you talking about? Anyways, um, like, that's still on good terms, really? You sure? You really sure about that? Anyways, so, uh, 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 back to school morning. Okay, and then I said, okay, so why dot, dot, dot? Because I wanted to say something so sneaky and, and whatever, but I was like, you know what? Forget it, forget it. Not even gonna go there. All right, bye. Have a blessed day. She was like, you being corny, mama. Say what you gotta say. I was like, nah, cause I'm not. I'm not gonna ruin your relationship. To be honest, I'm not that type of person. So I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. She said, okay. So anything you wanna say, and is it settled? And I was like, nope. That's all. She was like, copy. So I guess two hours later or something, the same day, I texted her. I was like, are you and Prince still dating or not? Cause clearly I have two different perspectives of this. Cause he was texting me saying this stuff. Oh, would you kiss me? I mean, why you didn't kiss me? Da, da, da. That's what I was talking about to y'all. She was like, yes, why the fuck you worry? I was like, all right, because first of all, call me nipples, because he's telling me y'all aren't, so check him in. Second, he's in my inbox, so don't come at me all crazy. Don't come at me all crazy. Check your man's. He's in my inbox, all right? All right. So she sent me a screenshot of them in a, um, in a FaceTime call. And she was like, first of all, we're on FaceTime. Why you keep asking him questions? Because you telling me one thing, he's telling me the other, and he's trying to push up on me. Sweetie. Anyways, um, I was like, like I said, he's in my inbox, so check him. She was like, all right, we, well, he must have been in your inbox when we broke up temporarily. Now we back at it, so... I was like, okay, that's all I want to say here. Not goodbye. She was like, listen, stop talking to me crazy, gangster. I was like, nobody's talking to you crazy, but if I wanted to, I would, and nobody stopped me. So, like I said, goodbye. And that was the end of our conversation. First of all, she looks stupid talking about a boy, or, you know, arguing with me about a boy that's clearly in my inbox. And I'm trying to let you know so that you don't look stupid. So, it's, in a way, I was helping her, but shorty, I guess, didn't want to get helped. So yeah, that's how our um, conversation ended. And that's how the conversation ended. And yeah, so that's what I thought it was gonna end at cause she left it on the lip. I mean, no, she left it on red. She left it on red and I'm thinking she probably must not have nothing to say. She looks stupid. I was wrong. I was clearly wrong. So basically, so shorty, the next day, I believe, 
because it was in, in the middle of, middle of the school week. The next day, I went to school. And after school, I guess she had sent her friends for me. She was like, oh, um, tell her to wait for me. So pe when I went outside after school, about to go home or something, her friends was outside waiting for me. Oh, um, oil says she want to fight you. Da -da -da. Oil says she want to fight you, so wait for her. Da -da -da. She's like five minutes away. I'm like... <laughs> At first, I'm like, I don't want to fight because my father always said, do not fight people. They're not going to fight one-on-one. -on -one. It's always going to turn into somebody jumping you or something like that. And that's what I was trying to keep in the back of my head. But then again, I didn't want to look, I didn't want to look like a wuss. You feel me? So, I stayed. I stayed. I went to the park and I waited for her. So, while I'm waiting for her, I had pants on, but my pants is tight. So, I wouldn't have been able to fight shorty if my, my legs aren't moving either. So I changed into, hold on. So I changed into um, my skirt. I had basketball shorts under my pants. That's probably part of the reason it was tight. Cause I had basketball shorts on. But anyways, I changed out of my pants and I put on my skirt and I had my basketball shorts under. And like two or three minutes later, I had everything off already. Shorty coming at me running in this bright orange sweater. I mean, bright orange shirt, some jeans, and I don't know what sneakers, but she had sneakers on. And she was coming at me. So the first thing I did was make sure to flip her and we was just getting at it. I'm about to just show you out a video and then we could come back. So as y'all can see by the video, y'all know what happened basically. I feel like that day, I don't know why, but I feel like I won. Because I had her to the floor and I had my hips in in the beginning and then I just blacked out. Like I, I just wanted to swing anywhere that I was swinging and that was basically it. I blacked out and I was swinging anywhere and it turns out I wasn't really even beating her. I had Shorty's hand in my hand, uh, head in my hand the whole time while I'm also trying to hit her. And mind you, we're on concrete so I'm getting scraped the whole time. My knees are getting scraped, my arms are getting scraped because Shorty's head is going like that the whole time and my hand is under her so anywho the cops came to break us up after that video and i mean after that fight and we all tried to run because we thought our dean was coming nobody wanted to get in trouble so we ran down the hill her friends my friends they were all running down the hill but as y'all can see by the video you know my scarf came off and da -da -da -da. but in the video people were screaming oh get her off her get her off her they was trying to get me off her basically and then people coming in trying to drag her, drag me off of her but you know i was still on her so that's i only got out for when the cops came to break us up basically but you guys are not hearing that but they was like oh get her off her the whole video so yeah that happened and then we ran down the hill because our dean was coming well we, at least we thought it, he was and then um her friends my friends were all running and um her friends come up to me saying oh she went around two she went around two and at this point i'm just like i don't even want to waste my time i don't even know why i'm fighting her is it because i'm get i got smart with her or is it because her meals is in my inbox and she's tired about that i don't know which one it was but yeah we did the fight and that was that but um i didn't even realize i had so many scrapes on my body until like after the fight and i seen like and my friends saw it on me like oh you're leaking everywhere and stuff like that they were like oh you're yo and i looked down my my freaking knuckles are all bloody my knees are bloody like everywhere is just bloody basically and we just trying to go home now but i had to find somebody that was holding my stuff i wasn't with the person that was holding my stuff so i had to find the person get my stuff from the person and go home then the next day I went to school again and yeah. Oh, before I even got home that day, the school had already called my dad and said that I got into a fight. And they lied and said I went like 10 blocks over to go into a fight. So how would you know about the fight if it was 10 blocks over? Please explain that to me, please, please do. You know, and I didn't understand that, but you know, it's whatever. But the next day when I got to school, I wasn't supposed to get suspended because she came for me, but um, I wasn't supposed to get suspended, but um, after our fight, her friend decided to jump my friend, and because he got in, he got hurt in the process. I got suspended, and yeah. So, yeah, that's exactly what happened. And since then, since that day, he started. He wanted to get close to me again, but I had to ignore him because I was like, no, I'm not having it. Nope, you, you basically set me up 
and you still want to try to talk to me? Like, are you dumb? Your your whole girl, girl, just came for me, and you still you allowed that to happen, basically, and then mm, you still trying to be cool with me. Like he was in my inbox, as y'all can see by these this. I was telling him I don't mess with him no more, so leave me alone. Like, no, I'm not having it. <laughs> I was not having it. Like, if you do me dirty, if you do me slime one time, you're done for. No more chances, none of that. So, I, till this day, I'm pretty sure I will never ever speak to him. Because you basically set me up and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's how my first fight happened. And that was my last female fight as well. I say I got drama, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting is not solving anything. It's either you're gonna get hurt in the process, you're gonna get killed in the process, or one of the two. One of the two. So violence is not the answer, I promise ya. It's really not the answer. Just relax, take a deep breath, and ignore the situation, I promise you. Unless you can see your mother, because me, I don't even believe about my mother. So you mentioned my mother, it's over for you. Nah, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening to my story time. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that post notification bell. Ding. And yeah, share this with your friends and family. Let's get to 1K subscribers if we're not already there. And yeah, share this with your friends and family and tell them to tune in. Tell them to tune in. I love you. I thank you for the love and support. I'm out. Peace.